I'm here to present the motion on the persistent denial of treatment and care to victims of gunshot wounds and other emergencies, urgent need to ensure compliance with the provision of the compulsory treatment and care for victims of Gunshots Act 2017. By providing that no gunshot victim shall be refused immediate and adequate treatment whether or not an initial monetary deposit has been made. Again, I'm aware that Section 13 provides that any person or authority, including any police officer or other security agents or hospitals who stands by or admits to do his bit, which results in the unnecessary death of any person with bullet wound, commits an offense and shall on conviction be liable to five years imprisonment and or a fine of 50,000. The Maitama Hospital should not only be prosecuted, but they should pay for all the liabilities of that woman. And this chamber must be able to direct the Inspector General of Police to do a nationwide broadcast that this law is in place so that everybody should know nobody should kill people because there is no police report attached. Summon the Honorable Minister of Health and Inspector General Police to appear before the Joint Committee on Health and Police Affairs to brief the committees on the non-compliance with the provisions of the compulsory treatment and care for victims of Gunshot Act 2017. Those who are in support of this prayer say aye. aye. Those who are against say nay. The ayes have it. The rephrased amendment shall read mandate the committees on health, FCT and police affairs to investigate the circumstances that led to the death of Ms. Gertner Orofemi and report back to the Senate in three weeks. <laughs>